Hello. Welcome back. And uh, what we're working with today is turning our collage into a, into a painting. And uh, step number one is I am sketching out my collage onto a, a canvas. And uh, you can do uh, the same thing with, um, say, colored pencils or pastels or, or even markers. Um, I just thought it would be uh, cool to show this one as a painting. Um, so if you feel like creating a painting, you are absolutely more than welcome. Um, and if uh, paint is just something that's not in your wheelhouse right now, uh, you're more than welcome to also use alternate supplies. Um, but I'm going to lay out how we can how we can make a painting based off of our collage so the number one step here is I am sketching out my collage so I'm looking at uh, my my finished work looking at the collage and using my powers of observation to sketch out all of the shapes um, and what I'm doing is basically sketching out each piece of paper that I cut out and uh, and glued on to create this collage, each different element. And I'm not getting into really any detail here, just sketching out those general shapes. And as I apply my first layer of paint, I'm creating a wash. So I'm adding a lot of water into my paint, mixing that up really good, so that I can have just a nice thin layer of watery paint that I will use um, covering each shape, uh, which we can think of as each individual cutout element of the collage. So picking out a color and um, basically putting like a, like a base coat. And uh, how I like to choose my, my base coat color is for each section of my collage, I'll look at that section and I'll, I'll pick what's the... Uh, What's the most common or average color? What's the color that's either most used? Like uh, in the part that I'm painting right now, it has a few colors, but um, I decided to go with, with pink as my base color for that. And uh, for each section, I'm going to make a, a solid block of, uh, of a wash. So again, not worrying right now since it's just the uh, the first coat of paint here, my base coat. I'm I'm not worrying about any of the details. I'm just going for solid blocks of color, uh, whatever whatever color is generally in that section of my collage. So where I have text, I'm not putting any of the text yet. Just putting that solid block of color. Um, where there's any designs or patterns, again sort of ignoring them and just going for one one generalized color for every section. And this will help us fill up the composition, help us uh, fill out the space and get rid of any white spots before we really get into adding any of the details. So on this bird, the bird is made of many colors, many shades of blue. There's some orange, white, black. But since my bird is generally blue, I decided to go for just one solid block of blue to get me started, just to make sure that I've got everything in the right place and my composition is working together, um, making sure that I get rid of all of the white spots on my canvas before I get into really uh, adding any details. Same thing on this uh, on this block on my collage. It's uh, sort of a landscape scene with mountains and trees and sky. Uh, 
but I'm just generalizing that whole section to a sort of a light baby blue. And after I'm, I'm done with my, my first coats, when I come back to my painting next time, that's when I'll start to uh, flesh out all the details and, and really, really make it look like uh, the pictures that I used in my collage. All right, so uh, there you have it, um, the start of a painting. Uh, again, I'm working from my collage, so I'm, I copied all of the shapes and elements from that. Um, just use my eyes and my, my powers of observation. And then I put down one base coat, one layer of paint uh, to get me started, which is just solid blocks of color, um, being sure to fill up the space uh, before I add any uh, any sort of details.